good morning and welcome to the start of a new week and a new month <coughs> and my Facebook Live. Thank you so much for joining us today. After um, a somewhat busy week and um, the end of celebration, I don't know where celebration went to, it went so fast, it finished yesterday. Um, and I also had our great um, all-day event on Saturday with two of my um, team members. So I thought I'd start with something completely new and completely fresh this week. And came up with this idea during our craft-along session on Sunday. So if you're not aware, I do a... Um, a craft and chat every Sunday afternoon <coughs> is open to anybody <laughs> to join us <coughs> excuse me it's on zoom and the link is in my Gemini my Gemini crafts page here and it's just an opportunity for people to craft to chat show everybody else what they've been making ask any questions um, and usually I'm trying something out. It's a good opportunity for me to try things. Morning, Christine, and morning, Jeanette. Um, so during that session, um, I was doing some work with this sweet ice cream. I won't tell you because I'm going to um, show you that later on. Um, showing you some different uses for this stamp set over and above ice cream. And... Also, I realised that I've used these sentiments, but I haven't used the rest of the set and I haven't used these papers. So what I've decided to do for this week is I'm actually going to focus on this complete suite. So the papers, the stamp set and the matching punch. And the punch, it's quite difficult for you to see, um, punches out the um, top of the ice cream and it also punches out the ice cream cone. But this is a standard triangle, so you can use it for lots of other things as well, not just ice cream cones, as you will see later in the week. So today we're going to start with some just basic stamping and then I'm going to build up and add things in during the week. Let me just turn my volume down and um, find everybody <coughs> so I can speak to you a bit easier. Morning Lynn, morning Carol. So um, I'm just going to show you the papers. So all of these products can be found in the mini catalogue on page 49 and 48 as well. So there's plenty of samples of ideas here using the papers and the stamps. And the, the main stamp set itself, which I think is really good value, is £16. And I do particularly, if you've been following me recently, love the sentiments. I love the style and the relaxed form of it. It makes it really easy to stamp because it's not in a straight line. So we've got happy birthday, thank you. You melt my heart and treat yourself. And then in capitals, we've got you're so cool with sprinkles on top and hope it's sweet. Obviously that goes nicely with the happy birthday sentiment. And then we've got um, an ice lolly here, top and bottom to get a faded effect, or you can just use it as if it's been eaten already at the top. We've got the um, ice cream, and then we've got dots and we've got sprinkles. We've got a little drip to show the ice cream dripping. We've got a lolly stick, a cornet, um, main cornet, and then the cross hatch to give it a look like it's a waffle cornet. And then a lollipop stick and another, and the, the larger lolly. So uh, that's the stamp set at only £16. And then the punch that goes with it is £17. And that's this one here. If you buy them both together, you save 10%. So the bundle of those two together is 29.50. So less than less than 30 pounds. And hopefully I'll show you this week how versatile um, this complete bundle can be. 
and then in addition to that there's some gorgeous blackberry bliss striped ribbon and i have to say i haven't ordered this yet um, and also some little sprinkles um, it says here approximately 1500 dots <laughs> 375 dots of each of four colours and these colours obviously match the colours in um, some of the papers. Um, I'm not going to sit there and add those up and I haven't ordered those either but these are perfect for shaker cards. And then we've got the paper at 1075 for 10 sheets. Let me just show you those quickly. So we've got the ice cream cones with one, two and three layers. We've got this one here now this is perfect for punching out the ice lollies because you've got a mixture of colors but it's perfect as a background as well ice lollies and this also gives you ideas for colors for stamping and then we've got this one with the bermuda bay and old olive this one and this one here with the cornets with the bigger ice creams. And then if I show you the reverse side, so this actually comes as 12 by 12 papers. This is a set of papers from my um, paper share. So this is perfect for punching out um, the ice cream cone itself. Black ruby stripes. Lovely bright stripes so these are great for backgrounds then we've got the green with the dots a little sort of wave design and then sprinkles galore <laughs> okay so today i'm just going to do some simple stamping and then i'm going to build up during the week to show you other things that you can do with this particular stamp set so um, what i've introduced today is the note cards and matching envelopes so for a beginner stamper, this is a perfect way to get um, cracking. And I'm going to use, hello Louise, um, let me see, let's do the um, ice cream first. Now I haven't used these stamps, so this is a first for me. So this is the bottom part. And this is the top. Like so. And then we've got a lolly stick, which is this one here. Let's load that up. There we go. And I'm also going to do the cornet as well, so I might as well get that um, loaded too. And the colours I've chosen, I thought for the ice cream um, cornet, I thought Rococo Rose for strawberry, soft suede for chocolate and so saffron for vanilla. And I've got sprinkles of things that I will add in after and obviously I've got the sentiments that I can add in. So a really fun stamp set. Um, let me load those before I lose them somewhere else. So say this is a really useful triangle and um, I've got something completely different to show you. Not an ice cream at all. Okay, so let's have a go with these. Now, I think I'm going to start, um, let's do a, let's do a strawberry one. So I'm just going to have a play on my grid paper. Actually, I'm going to bring in a piece of card because you'll see it better than on my grid paper. of pieces here to have a little practice with because I have no idea how this is going to sit together so this is Rococo Rose it might be too dark but what you can see hopefully is that it's inbuilt shading on all of these stamps so that's um, all of that work 
hopefully is done for you morning Jill so let's have a look so this is Rococo Rose and really what I should add is a mat underneath because this is um, photopolymer stamps just gives it an extra little bit of cushion um, so let's have a look and see how these to go together so that's the bottom and this is the top so what I don't know is how big this needs to be we'll have a look sorry my fingers are in the way there we go go so I'm just going to try that again with it closer together so that's the bottom so I wonder if these are designed to go one on top of the other directly if that makes any sense I'm guessing you could um, make your ice cream as tall or as short as you want to in reality and you could have these two different colors as well if you want it let's do the lollipop stick so I hope everybody had a nice weekend so I'm doing this in cinnamon cider So to me, I need to do this lighter and that, well, I don't know whether that looks too big for that um, lollipop. So I could um, take some of that um, out because this is the infill for it. Let me have a look. So we've got this one here and this one here. Okay. So I'm just having a play to get a feel for this how this goes together so this piece here obviously it's a lot shorter so I'm guessing it just I need to stamp the other piece shorter as well hmm. okay so this is Rococo Rose I'm happy with that colouring for my strawberry let me clean that off and have a look for a vanilla so I've got so saffron. Let me just clean this off. Yes, that works nicely in terms of colour, doesn't it? nice okay so I'm going to take the stalk lighter and I think what I'm going to do is mask this off like so so that I've got a shorter stalk and I'm going to do that in um let me try soft suede it might need to be crumb cake
Have a look. And that looks too small. You can't win, can you? Right, let's find the infill for that. See how we go. It may be that I'm, I don't use the infill. Possibly. Okay. Right, so I've got strawberry, I've got a vanilla, and let's try a chocolate one. Just I just want to see what the colours are looking like, and then I can do the same with the cones. So just making sure I've cleaned these off. So let's try... Wait on its own. There we go, that looks chocolatey, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. So I've got vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. So let's have a go. <laughs> Sorry, Jeanette. <laughs> OK, so here is my note card. So I'm trying to work out whether I will get. So I think I will get three on there. And then I might stamp the sentiment right across. So let's try that. Okay, just going to turn this over so I haven't got any ink on there from my earlier playing. So let's give it a go. Let's do strawberry first. clean these off again and in fact what I'm going to do is the top first so that I can see where this is going to how this is going to fit so I'm just doing it by eye which is probably wrong but so I should start with the one in the middle let's do strawberries in the middle then you can tell I've had a long week, can't you, in a busy weekend. <laughs> okay, there's the top. Here's the bottom. Like so. Okay. Clean them off and I'm going to do vanilla to the left. Yeah, it's a bit early to be talking ice cream, isn't it really? But probably not. I wonder what your favourite um, ice cream flavour is. That's a little bit to the left, isn't it? But I'll run with it. My favourite ice cream is just vanilla, I have to say. and then chocolate so I'm going to do one with the ice creams and then one one with these lollies and then one with the um, cornets just as a starting starting point for the week Sorry, the inks are just out of sight. There we go. There we are. And then I'm going to add the stalks. 
but what I'm going to do is use this one and then mask off the others I think and I'm going to use soft suede so this is my is effectively the infill I might actually go with just that it might just work Three. Cute. Now you don't really have sprinkles and things on these ice creams, do you? But what there is is the little drip. Oh yes, Jeanette, I'm with you. Magnum White. Morning, Molly. Magnum White. Or, I don't know if you've tried the, um, there's a new one, like um, vanilla and caramel. I could add this little bit of detail, but I quite like this soft look. So I'm not going to add that for the minute. The sort of wood effect. But I am going to add some drips, do you think? might regret this but <laughs> just one maybe let's try a strawberry one and chocolate one oh yes fab so fab was three colors wasn't it Something like that. Was it strawberry, vanilla, and sprinkles? Something like that. They still do those, don't they? I'm sure. Okay, and then I'm going to add happy birthday across the right across the middle. There. Because I'm only using note cards and envelopes, they're quite small, they're three three and a half by five. Now, obviously, what I like about the punch is when you come to make the cornet, you can have, you know, a whole pile of different coloured ice creams. But for today, we're just going to do some straightforward stamping. I haven't put that on very well. There we go. So I'm doing this in espresso, but actually you could use a really bright, vibrant um, colour if you wanted for this. There we go. I think that's quite cute. As it stands, let's put some sprinkles on the inside then. So we've got sprinkles, but we've also got these really useful dots. So I'm going to put sprinkles all across the bottom, I think. But I can see those dots being used for all sorts of other things. So what I'm going to do is some of each. Um, what colour did I have them? I'm just going to turn these round like so. And I'm just cleaning it off in between. Like so. And I'm just turning this round it because it mimics the shape obviously of the cornet slightly so that's that and I think 
oh the ice roll in two parts it's to get the um the texture here so that you could do two different colors and also you could have one you know where it had um where it was melting but i think it's to get two two tone so you could have like orange and then pink i'll try one with two tone i'm going to add treat yourself on the inside or i could put with sprinkles on oh no, i haven't got any sprinkles on top <laughs> so let's add treat yourself on the inside of that so i will stamp one with two colors and then you can see and you may have spotted this looks like mickey mouse so watch out for that so let's add a treat yourself inside After the weather at the weekend, which was lovely, I did treat myself to some ice cream. And I have to say, I tucked into it last night. <laughs> there we go. So straightforward. Happy birthday. Treat yourself. Like that. And I could put um, some sprinkles on the envelope. Let's do that really quickly just across this corner if I can see the stamp one two three like so and just because I can, I'm going to do the same across the back. I'm just cleaning off in between. Well, I have to say, looking outside the weather this morning, you wouldn't have believed that we'd had such a lovely weekend. Okay, so I've got sprinkles all over my envelope and there's my happy birthday so just to show you that two tone then let's see if we can do that if we did um, the yellow going into pink let me have a look and see just so we can see that effect I'm going to try it with the same colours, but I think this would work particularly well with really deep colours. Let us see. So that is my pink top. Looking everywhere for the bottom piece. There it is. Let's do this one in so saffron. So it, you might want to make these darker, I think. Yeah, you get the effect of the two tone lolly. Oh, yes, mini milk. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Um, I just want to try that in really deep colours, just so you can see. Let's do Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple. Not that you'd really have these colours, I don't suppose. <laughs> just to show you the effect so Bermuda Bay look at that and the top in Granny Apple 
so I think you can have great fun um, with the colours I'm trying to stamp it between me and the camera, so I apologise. There. Yeah, so you get that real change effect. Like so. Picked up some of my sprinkles. Hi, Carol G. Nice to have you join us this morning. So this is the first card we've created. So we're using the sweet ice cream bundle. And I'm just starting off today with some straightforward, simple stamping. So I've just done the ice lollies with some sprinkles inside. And now I'm going to do the cones. Let me just wipe this off. Okay, so for the cones, let's have a little practice. I say because I haven't used these, and let me find the cone. Here we go. So we've got a triangle for the cone, and then we've got a pattern on the inside. This one here if you want to add it to make it look like a, um, a waffle sort of thing. But the best thing when you come to it, if you have the punch, is to use the waffle designer paper, which is here, because that looks like a perfect um, waffle. But let me see. So I'm just going to try and try cinnamon cider because waffles are quite an orangey colour, aren't they? Waffle cones. So I'm just going to try it on this little scrap here just to see. I've got hair, I can see it from here. So I will build up during the week and show you lots of other things that you can do with this set. Let's add this in in the same colour. Like so. And then your ice cream, like so, can obviously be any of the colours, any colour you want at all. So you can make it look like, um, you could use Blackberry Bliss, for example, and have it look like a sorbet. So there's the my vanilla. And to that, you can add sprinkles. So we could put chocolate sprinkles on. Like so. How cute is that? Okay, so let's stamp those out on a card. Oop. Let me grab a card. So this is our note card from our note cards and envelopes. I am just going to put a layer of grid paper on here just because there might be some damp ink on my piece. So that is my front. So I'm not going to do any masking or anything because that would be fun to have lots of um, ice cream bundles. I'm just going to do some straight stamping. So I think what I'm going to do is recreate that, but with the cones so you can see the difference and just put different toppings on. So I'm going to stamp the one in the middle this time and uh, be a little bit more accurate on my placement. <laughs> so let me just measure this. Okay. 
So I've just measured the centre line and I'm just going to draw a very light line down there. See I've got ink everywhere now. Move that one out of the way. Let me find my T square. Oh, did you, Carol? Hmm, very nice. It was a lovely day though, wasn't it? So, so just doing a very faint line to help me centre my ice cream. And what's quite nice is this, obviously this triangle cone has got a nice centre point that I can reference. So, um, let's do that. Put my elbow in that one. Now I don't need so much space for the ice cream at the top, so there's one. And I think you could use any brown for these. You could also do a darker one because you do get chocolate. Um, cones don't you I think I'm very strange when it comes to ice cream I have to say because I love chocolate but I don't like chocolate ice cream there we go so our three cones let's add the cross hatching One, two, three. This would be a great for a summer themed, dare I say it, wedding. <laughs> because, um, you know, if you're having like a um, an afternoon tea or something like that. I'm just going to get my rubber out. So I always keep my rubbers in my first aid kit my card first aid kit that is so i'm just going to rub this out now and here otherwise if i've got a light color in my for my cornet it will show Okay, so here we go. Bermuda base bubblegum. Oh, blue raspberry flavours. Yes. What? I mean, these days anything goes, doesn't it, really? To be honest. So I'm going to stick with the same, um, the same colours. Just need to find my top. Here we go. So let's go strawberry first. Yummy. I love the um the effect that that gives. Let's have this one in the middle. My vanilla. And then my chocolate. And then I'm going to add, I've got sprinkles and I've got dots. I'm impressed. Christine's on about cocktails already. <laughs> Do they have cocktails on sticks? I don't know. So I've got a hair here and it's picked that up right across there. Just goes to show, doesn't it? So I'm just going to, I'm not going to re-ink it. I'm just going to stamp it on top and then I'm going to cover that with my sprinkles. 
So let's have sprinkles and dots. Going to make this one dotty. And I'm going to position that set of dots over my little hairline like so. Let's have, I think we can have strawberry sprinkles on there. Oh no, I think I've had strawberry sprinkles on there. And dots on the other one. Now these dots I think are going to be very useful. all sorts of things there we go so a completely different look but rather fun this was the first one with my lollies so I think I'm going to make that um, happy birthday as well and stamping the happy birthday across the cones And I'm going to stick to early espresso because I want it to stand out, not just because it's my favourite. I want it to stand out over the cinnamon cider. There we go. And I'm thinking with sprinkles on the top underneath for that one. With sprinkles on top and that will be us done for today so just some straightforward simple stamping and then I'll be building it up during the week using the papers and also using the punch and showing you some different things that you can do with the stamps I just want to centre that roughly on there. There we go. Happy birthday. With sprinkles on top. So nice straightforward cards. One and two. I use the same colours. I could have changed them round, but it's only Monday morning. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed those. As I say, I've used the sentiments from this set a lot, but I haven't actually used the ice cream portions. So I'm going to put that right this week. I hope that doesn't mean I've made the sun go away. <laughs> so there we are. The stamp set, Louise, is 16, or to say, yeah, 16 pounds. And with the punch, it's 29.50, and it's on page 49. Thank you, Lynn. It's on page 49 of the mini catalogue. And um, the papers that go with it are stunning, and we'll be using those with lots of different ideas. So here they've stamped the base, but just with the um, a very light top. So lots of different ideas we will have fun with. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it this morning. I hope I haven't made you feel a bit too hungry for ice cream. <laughs> if I have, I apologise. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching me today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. We'll be live at 5pm tomorrow. And I'll be carrying on with our sweet ice cream bundle. Thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy your day. Stay safe, stay well, look after your loved ones, and I hope you can keep crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.